Good morning all. Today we are going to start the digital electronics. So the first lecture I am going to discuss different types of number systems that are available. So different types of number systems that are available can be categorized. The, these are the main number systems which are used. First one is the decimal number system. Second one is a binary number system. And third hexadecimal and fourth one is octal number systems. So let us see each one of them. So every number system will be represented by some base or radix. So for a decimal number system, the base will be equal to 10 or the radix will be equal to 10. For binary number systems is 2. For hexadecimal it is 16. For octal number system it is 8. The meaning of this base or radix is it indicates how many number of symbols are there. How many different types of symbols are there in that particular system. Let us take for example decimal number system will have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Total 10 different types of symbols are there. If you take the binary, only two types of symbols are there, 0 and 1. If you take hexadecimal, there will be 16 digits. So, 16 means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are copied from the decimal number system. Then 10 is represented by A, 11 is represented by B, 12 is represented by C, then 13 is represented by D, 14 by E and 15 by F. That means the value varies from 0 to 15. They are using the alphabets of starting from 10 onwards. Similarly, for octal number system, there will be 8 symbols. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Total 8 symbols are there. Similarly, so there are so many other type of number systems. We can take the base 7, base 6, base 20. Different number systems are there, but they are not very much famous. So, let us assume I am taking some number system. These type of number systems, these all the number systems are called as positive weighted number systems. That means whatever the weight you multiply, that will be the positive integer only that we are going to see now. Let us assume I am taking a system having the radix x, having a radix x number system. Let us assume there are m digits in the left followed by some dot. That means after the dot, that means the fraction is starting, there are n digits. There are m digits in the left dot, there are n digits after the fraction. So, this weight will be given like this, whichever is coming immediately after the dot, that will given the weightage as 0, then goes on increasing. That means how to write it, let us assume this digit is represented by am, am minus 1, etc., a2, a1 dot, b1, b2, b3, etc., up to bn. This is the digit. So, if you want to convert this to the equivalent decimal value or know the value of this, so this I can obtain as this a1 will be multiplied by x to the power of 0, whatever is the radix or the base to the power of 0 plus a2 into base to the power of 1 plus etc. up to it will go, this will become a m minus 1 into x to the power of m minus 2 plus a m x to the power of m minus 1. So, this is in the left hand side and coming to the right hand side after the fraction, so they will be multiplied to the power of minus 1. So, this will become minus 1 plus b2 into x to the power of minus 2 plus etc. It will go up to bn into x to the power of minus n. This way you have to represent this. So, whichever bit is coming in the left hand leftmost thing that is called as most significant bit, whichever is coming in the rightmost side that is called as least significant bit or least significant digit. So, sometimes they are called as digit or sometimes they are called as bit. Generally, bit we use in binary number system. Remaining number systems we represent by most significant digits and least significant digit. Let us see each number system and we will see how the number system can be converted from one to another. As you already have the idea about decimal, so decimal I am skipping, but we will see while discussing other number systems. So, first I am starting with binary number system. So, in the binary number system, the base or the radix is 2. That means everything will be represented as 2. Let us assume a number is represented in binary number system 101111.1101. This is having a base 2. I want to convert it to the decimal. So, if you want to convert to the decimal, I told what to do. So, whatever is the weight here, this you have to multiply with to the power of 0. This should be multiplied with power of 1, power of 2, power of 3, power of 4 and power of 5. So, what will be the power of 5? So, power of 5 becomes 32, power of 4 becomes 16, 8, 4, 2 and 1. This is the weightage. So, this you have to multiply with the respective digit. 
so i have to multiply with the respect two digit so if you take the product of all these things and take the sum you will get this as 47 so similar way in the right hand side right hand side i have to multiply with 2 to the power of minus 1 this will become 2 to the power of minus 2 2 to the power of minus 3 and 2 to the power of minus 4 so 2 to the power of minus 4 is 0 0.0625 whichever is one only that i am taking so this is one so this will also be counted 0 0.25 and this will become equal to 0 0.5 if you take the sum of all these values, this will become 0.8125. Got it? I hope how to do the redix. So, those things addition. So, what I discussed here, same example I have discussed here. So, I can tell that this will be equal to 47.8125 to the base of 10. So, this way I can convert my binary to decimal. So, let us see how to convert from decimal number system to binary number system. How to do this? Let us assume a decimal number is there 53.625 to the base 10. I ask you convert it to the base of 2. So, how to convert it? So, whichever is in the left hand side, you have to divide by 2. So, if you divide by 2, this will become 26 and one remainder will be there. So, again, if you divide, this is 13 into 2 is 26. So, remainder is 0. Again, 2, 6 into 2 is 12 and one remainder is 1. So, similar way 2, 3 and remainder is 0. 2 times 1 and the remainder is 1. So, now it is completed. So, you have to take in this manner. That means, this will indicate the MSB. That means, whatever is the 53, that left hand side will come as 110101 point. What will come in the right hand side? So, after the dot, what will come? So, for that, you have to take 0 0.625. You have to multiply with the factor. Multiply with 2. So, if you multiply with 2, you will get as 1.25. So, in this, whatever is coming, beside or the right hand side of the fraction so that you take out so this becomes 1 so again take 0 0.25 multiplied by 2 this gives 0 0.5 so right hand side it is 0 so 0 taken out so this 0 0.5 multiplied by 2 we got 1.0 this 1 is taken out so this is 0, 0.0 multiplied by 2 this becomes 0 so 0 came so for this you have to take from top to bottom the top will be msb so you have to copy from top to bottom this will be 1 0 1 0 whether you keep 0 or neglect this there will be no difference so this way i can convert to the decimal to binary number system let us see the second number system and conversion from binary to other number systems that we are going to see in the coming these things different number systems so next number system is octal number system in octal number system there will be eight symbols the eight symbols will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so, let us take for example, I am taking a decimal number 456 to the base of 10. So, this I want to convert to the base of 8. So, how to convert this? So, it is given in the numerical. So, round off to fifth digit. So, I have to round off to fifth digit after the fraction. So, now what to do in the left hand side, we know we have to divide with the value. So, if you divide with 8, you will get as 55 with remainder 4. Again, if you divide, you will get 6 with a remainder of 7. Again, if you divide it, you will get 0 with a remainder of 6. So, as 0 came, so you have to go in this way. That means, if you go in this way, you will get this value as 6, 7, 4. 0 can be neglected point. So, let us go to the right hand side. Right hand side is given as 0 0.456. We have to calculate up to fifth digit. So, for 5 times we have to do this multiplied by 8 this becomes 3.648 though so this 3 will be separated out so it becomes 3 so 0.648 again i am multiplying by 8 you will get as 5.184 again this 5 will be taken out again we will get 0 0.184 into 8 this becomes 1.472 this 1 will be taken out then 0 0.472 again i am multiplying with 8 this will become 3.776 in this 3 is taken out this becomes 0 0.776 into 8 this becomes 6.208 this 6 is taken out this will become 0 0.208 multiplied by 8 in that way you have to continue but it is asked to only take up to fifth digit so you can get it 1 2 3 4 5 so i have to only take up to here so this will be equal to 3 5 1 3 6 because this can continue indefinitely until it reaches 1.0 it can come after any number of steps that's why generally we limit up to certain number of digits after this. I think you got it how to convert decimal to octal. 
So let us see how to convert the octal number system to decimal number system. Let us now see how to convert the octal number system to decimal number system. To convert the octal to decimal, so we have the value 237.42 to the base of 8. I want to convert to the base of 10. So how to convert this? I have already told you. From the fraction, you take the value. So first value is 7 multiplied by 8 to the power of 0. Then 3 multiplied by 8 to the power of 1. Then 2 multiplied by 8 to the power of 2. Point. Second side. 4 multiplied by 8 to the power minus 1 plus 2 multiplied by 8 to the power of minus 2. So, this value gives my equivalent value. So, I am directly writing it 159.53125 to the base of 10. So, you got this. Now, let us see how to convert the octal number system to binary number system in an easier way. So, this I can take. Let us take for example, 376 to the base 8. I want to convert to the base of 2. So, whenever you want to convert to the base of 2, what you have to do? Each digit you have to represent with 3 bit binary. So, each digit will be represented by 3 bit binary. So, let us see how it can be represented. So, just take 376. So, this each one I have to represent with 3 bit. So, 6 can be represented in 3 bit as 110, 7 can be represented as 111, and 3 will be represented as 011. Getting it? So, I can tell that my equivalent value of the binary will be 011111110 to the base of 2. So, m has been 0, there is no difference. So, this I can write as 111111110 to the base of 2. So, whatever is the digit that is coming, so each digit you will represent in the form of 3 binary digits. In that way, you can easily convert it. Let us see how to convert the binary number system to octal number system. So, I am taking one example 100. 1101010101.11 this is given let us take for example i want to convert this so first you have to take from the dot wherever is the dot combine three digits together so these three i combine together these three i combine together these three i combine together here only two are there so I, msb even if you are adding zero it is not going to change i have added zero so now coming after the dot you have to go in this direction from left to the right side. So, here only two are there. So, the third digit even if you add 0, it is not going to affect. So, this will become 110. So, now you convert to equivalent value of the octal number system. This 101 will be equal to 5. Then, this is equal to 2 and this is equal to 3 and this one is equal to 2. Point. In the right hand side, right hand side it is coming as 110. 110 means this is 2 plus 4. This will be equal to 6. So, the final value is 2325.6 to the base of 8. So, this way I can convert from binary to octal number system. So, there is one more number system or the last number system we are going to discuss hexa decimal number system. So, in the hexa decimal number system, the number of symbols are 16 we have discussed. So, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, up to 9 it will be same. Then we will take the English digits A, B, C, D, E and F. This A represents 10, B represents 11, this C represents 12, D represents 13, E represents 14 and F represents 15. That means we can tell that these symbols are varying from 0 to 15 actually. So, let us see how to convert from one number system to another number system. I am taking 115 to the base 10. I want to convert it to the hexadecimal number system. How to convert the hexadecimal number system? We have to just divide by 16. So, I am just dividing by 16. When you divide by 16, you will get it as 7 times and remainder will be 3. Again, if you divide it, it will become 0 and the remainder is 7. As 0 came, I will go like this. So, this becomes 73. 73 to the base of 16. So, this way I can convert. If any fraction is there, that fraction you have to multiply by the 16. That we have already seen, I am not discussing now. So, now, let us take for example, I have the value BE to the base 16, I want to convert to the base 10. So, how to convert to the base 10? Again, same thing, wait before the fraction, you have to take 16 to the power of 0, 1, 2, etc. In the right hand side, you have to take 16 to the power of minus 1, minus 2, etc. So, this I can write as E into 16 to the power of 0 plus B into 
16 to the power of 1. We know the value of B is 11. So 11 into 16 plus this E. E is 14 into 16 to the power of 0 will be 1. So this will become equal to 190 to the base of 10. This way I can convert. So let us take another digit. So I am taking the digit A3 B A to the base of 16. I want to convert to a covalent binary number. So whenever you want to convert the binary number because hexadecimal number system has 16 digits or 16 different symbols, they can be represented using four number of bits. So this each one will be represented with four binary digits. So that way I can convert directly to binary conversion. Let us see how. So I am taking the symbols A3, B, A. So if after fraction again they are there, same procedure you follow. So each one you represent in terms of four bits. So this can be represented as because A is equal to 10. 10 is nothing but 1010. So B will be A, this is 11. 11 will be equal to 8 plus 3. So 8 plus 3. So then 3 can be represented as 0011 and A can be represented as 10. So 8 plus 2. So this is 10. So this way I have to convert. This will directly give me the binary value. So let us take another example. So 47 to the base of 16, I want to convert to the base of 8. I want to convert to the base of 8. Whenever you want to convert from hexadecimal to octal number system, you cannot directly convert. One option is convert it to the decimal. From decimal, you can convert to octal. Second option is convert to the binary. From binary, you can convert to octal. Generally, the converting to binary and then to octal is the easier procedure. So that's why I am following that. So I am taking 4, 7. So each one will be represented by four digits. So seven will be equal to 0, 1, 1, 1. Similarly, four will be equal to 0, 1, 0, 0. So once it is converted to binary, now what we have to do, again scan from whichever dot is there. So from the dot, you go to the left side and after dot, you have to go to the towards your right side. So from here, I am going to the left side combining three, three bits. So three, three bits, I will combine together. So if required in the MSB, I can add it. If it is after the fraction in the LSB side, I can add zeros to get the required value. So this becomes 7 and this becomes 0 and this becomes 1. So I am getting this value as 107 to the base 8. I got it. So this way I can convert it. Let us take another example so that it will be much more clarified. I am taking with some fraction. So I am taking 7 point FD6 to the base 16. So this I want to convert to the base of 8. So how to convert this? I told each one represent in four digits. So this will become 0, 1, 1, 1 dot and F, F will be 1, 1, 1, 1. It is 15. Then D, D will be 1, 1, 0, 1 and 6 will become equal to 0, 1, 1, 0. So it is converted to binary form. Now what I told in the, from the dot to the left side, you have to move towards the left side, combine three, three bits together. So here I can add the number of zeros accordingly. So this becomes 7, 0, point. So in the right hand side, you have to take 3, 3 starting from the dot. So I am taking 3, 3 starting from the dot. If required, you can add the zeros in the right hand side. So this becomes 7. Again, this becomes 7. This is 2 and this is 6. So we got 0, 7 or simply I can write as 7.7726 to the base 8. So this much easily I can convert from one number system to other number system. I hope the conversion from one number system to other number systems are clear to you. If you still have any queries, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.